Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Hummus Reptiles. It's time for another clutch update. Although, we're going to step a little bit out of order because this is something I've been wanting to share with you, for, with you guys for a while. Plus, it's, it's kind of time because I'll be honest with the one we're sharing. It wasn't like, you know, it's it kind of falls here. Because the reason I say that is it's clutch number 34. You're thinking, we haven't shared near that many yet. And that's true. But these are live births. So when they became clutch 34, they were born as opposed to at Clutch 34 going in an incubator for 58 days. So we're going to share with you our Blood Diamond project. Um, I guess I should start with telling you what it is. For those that don't know, we have three wild-caught rattlesnakes, all from the same area, that are all Western Diamondbacks, that all have a very, very red color. Unlike a reddish tint you may see some places that are kind of line bread, things like, oh, it's kind of like a, got some red to it. These things at points in time in their lives look like a Coke can. Very, very red, very, very cool. Uh, with that, <laughs> we also uh, found them amongst normals. So if you were to find the den as they were breaking den, you may find this red one we have and 20 normal looking rattlesnakes. So it's not, well, I shouldn't say it's not. It points to it not being a situation of just this area slowly producing this color of snake and it being something that in Western Diamondbacks is more of a locale. And, and that does happen in Westerns. I can literally take Westerns when I'm at with a bunch of them and I can tell something wild caught in Texas, very frankly from something wild caught in an area in Oklahoma where I frequent. The way I can do that is the darkness of the color. The ones along the Texas-Mexico border tend to be a lot more gray and a lot more lighter. And they also tend to be big. And the ones from the area of Oklahoma rat tend to be somewhat darker with darker diamonds and more yellow in the diamond pattern. So, I mean, you can you can just kind of look. Also, the heads tend to be a lot more speckled in the first part of the neck, most Texas ones. So, while there are locale differences, what we're dealing with is not that. So, we bred these guys uh, for the first time this year. First time ever attempting to breed anything venomous and out popped a bunch of rattlesnakes. I, I'll be blunt. I don't remember exactly how many were born to start. Uh, we have currently 13. I know we had 15 born alive. I will tell you that. And there was... Uh, Maybe three or four that were stillborn. I can't remember the exact number of that. If you go back on a video, I know we did post it. But we did have 15 alive. One of them was born with a deformity where basically the umbilicus attaches. I mean, it's always on the outside kind of, but a whole lot of it was on the outside. That snake did not make it. That dropped us to 14. And then we did have one randomly pass away. We don't know exactly why. That dropped us to 13. Everything else has fed multiple times. These things all eat great. They all eat from the tongue. Uh, they also have shed multiple times. You can hear them right now making their noise. So we're going to pull them out and show them to you, at least some of them. We may not show you all of them. I'm going to show you some of the brighter ones, some of the ones that are probably getting closer to a shed cycle. One thing of keeping these bloods, what's what we call them? We call them blood diamonds, Project Blood. It's kind of a blood red, get it, blood diamond, blood. It's a thing. Is as they go through their shed cycle, they're very, very, very bright post-shed. And they get really kind of bleh close to shed, if I'm being blunt, if I'm being very honest. The red is going to get pretty dark as it gets close to shed. It's going to be a, a really dull, but they're going to shed and blow your mind. So I want to kind of show you some of those in different parts. Before we play with a bunch of death noodles, we do need to get a little liquid courage in our body. So what's in my bottle? Oh, that's a great game to play. What's in my bottle is strictly just soda. Reason for that is, guys, never mix alcohol. It's been a mistake. It's just a bad freaking idea. Uh, no beer. I like to. I do drink beer. I am an, uh, an adult over 21 years of age, and I live in a free country. I do drink beer. I do drink whiskey. I, I don't drink much tequila. I drink a little bit of vodka. It just depends on what I'm doing. But when you're playing with these, one of the rules we have is no alcohol. Not a little alcohol. Not maybe, hey, we've had a beer or two. Let's go fuck with rattlesnakes. When I'm working my rattlesnakes, it's no alcohol. If I have a beer, this doesn't happen. I can have a beer and work ball pythons. It's not a big deal. So anyway. So that, let's go ahead and start getting through. We're going to start at the bottom. Uh, this is, well, let's see here. I want to do that. Let's, yeah, we'll start at the bottom. It don't matter. This is 223407. Oh, come here. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to have the potato spot clean a little bit too, which will be nice. So I'm going to show you something on the belly. See how pink that belly is? That's not because the snake's in shed. That is just the natural color of their belly. So put it down here in a nice black background. As you can see, that one's pretty dark right now. 
Uh, I mean, it's got a good red to it. It's not like the darkest one we've got, but that is not fresh shed, guys. That's a, definitely not a fresh shed one, but you can definitely tell how much size these guys have gotten since we started this project. You can hear how much noise that one's making. Uh, really, really cool. This one happens to be a female, so uh, really cool. They can crawl out of this tub, so I do have to have my hook at the ready. She can hook her nose over there, and she could escape us. We're not going to let that happen. So this is 223407. And you can see how quick they are. And they already have enough venom to ring your day for sure. They're born that way. Really? Come on. Now they are at a size that if I need to, and at the angle I'm working, I might have to. I can hook and tail one. Whoop! Come here. I, if I do it right. If I do it right. That's why you don't drink and do this. I'm uncoordinated enough where I'm not drinking. So this will give you a good... Hey, Come on, chillax. Pick that thing up. There we go. And that's what you really want to see from one. Let me go back in there. And we'll close that one back up. 223407. We'll go to another female. This is 223406. This one's a lot lighter in color. Come on. No, you don't get to crawl up the hook. I mean, you can if you really want. Again, pink belly is going to show. I think this one's color is lighter than the other one I just showed you. Also, pay really close attention to this one in the tail and in the sides. The sides have this nice, beautiful salmon pink. Really, really pretty. Um, as well as the fact that just overall, I think the snake looks great. That's some good lighting on it. Now, this one does have that little dark spot behind its head. Uh, are you really going to freak out that much? But the tails turn almost orange as they go. So this is a really cool little snake. And again, definitely a different look than the other one I pulled out, mostly along the sides. Now this is a just, this is not part of the gene on the sides here. The coloration is, but whether you get that kind of lighter versus what the other one just was, that's more of who the parents are. Um, I like that look. This is my favorite type of look on these, but it's just a personal thing. It doesn't really make a difference. You can see they hook pretty well. They're actually fairly chill for what they are. We'll now move to 22, 34, 13. This one is a male, and this is about as good as it gets, guys, at this size. Probably shouldn't choke up on the hook quite so much. There we go. There you go. That's. A, I hope the cameras pick up the color. Oh, it, yeah. Is it for once in this yeah. life? Uh, we worked hard to get the right settings dialed in for this because I really want to show those colors off. Don't you do it. I'll snoot boop you. Uh, so this one, again, and how bright this is, it's not anything to do with this male. It's just, this is probably one of my favorite ones I've got in here so far. The color is phenomenal on this thing. Really, really cool snake. And these are going to continue to color up with age. They're not done coloring up yet. They will definitely get uh, better for a little while. And before then, eventually it'll kind of top out and it'll kind of rotate back. A little, almost like when you keep a carpet python, you know. They get better, 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 better. And then they kind of like, you know, kind of top out. And then maybe get a little bit darker. That's what these are going to do. And let's get a little hard on it. On this tail pattern, right? Well, right there. Because yeah. <laughs> it loves me. So anyway, this is one of my favorites. Just, I think I really like it. Because I don't know if it's really that the colors are that much brighter. Or if it's the fact that you're getting those highlights and the diamonds right there, and they're just making it pop so much. But gorgeous. And it, again, that salmon pink through there is just, I don't know. This thing's just phenomenal. Okay, you ready to go home now? I know, you guys are all hungry. You need to eat tomorrow. Tomorrow you get to eat. Really? Come on. Just beautiful. So, since we've shown you a, a few in the lighter range, I'm going to look for something dark now. That's not it. That's getting close to shed too, but I know what I'm looking for to kind of show you the other end of the spectrum. Well, I want to spot thing this one, so I'm going to pull it out anyway. This one's a little smaller. Also really nice in color. Not what I was, exactly what I was looking for. But this is one of the ones that would have been a little bit more of a slow starter, but you can see it's doing great now. Color's really, really good. Um... And this was also a little male. 
The old timers will tell you you can tell by the tail length on it. And so we kind of did that, counting the white rings for sex. Uh, plus we also probed them, so we did both, right? And we found that there was only one, I think, if memory serves, that we would have missed by counting the white rings. So there's something to be said for that. You can also do some caudal scale counting, I believe, so many scales behind the vent, etc., etc., which is kind of like another way of doing tail length. But uh, mostly I just wanted a spot. But again, this one's really nice, super nice color. Mm -hmm. Super nice color. Uh, if I can find you. you know what? I got an idea. It's always good to compare to a known, okay? So this is not going to be the same red, but that's a Sonic Straw. So this is definitely a little bit darker than that Sonic Straw is going to be. It's a little bit more deeper, but uh, Sonic Straw is kind of like, you know, neon red, for lack of a better term. Uh, give you a third red in there. That's a really, really dark, uh, a bright, like kinda, I don't want to say a bright dark red, but that's really what it is. It's, you know, kind of like the red you'd paint a car right there. And this is more almost between brick uh, and this somewhere in the middle. So with really like kind of cream sickly on the tails of these guys. And then the belly, good belly shot, is extremely pink. Mm -hmm. So come here, little one. No, come on. Can't play that game. Now we can. We can play that game. Ha 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 ha. So that was 22, 34, 12. I'm just kind of going through here. And I think this has a little bit of a different look, so I'm going to pull it out. It's also a very light one. It's a good size one. But I just really like the look of that one. That's uh, that girl right there. That is a girl. It's going to remind me a lot of mom, I think, in a little while when she gets older. This one very well could be the holdback. I haven't decided on my holdback yet. I do plan on keeping one female. Uh, she's definitely in the running for that. I just really like her pattern. I like how everything links. I like the amount of white in between the diamonds. I like the, uh, the it's like that salmon colored pink on the sides. Really good display of that. I just really like this snake. One of the things, too, to notice is the eye stripes. Eye stripes in the Westerns are typically white. These turn to kind of a pinkish cream. Uh, and they will be full-blown pink eventually at times. This kind of depends. Okay, you're kind of freaking out now. Let's get you back. Look at that hook work. Oh, my goodness. I've been doing this a while or something. I don't know. Now it's going to be like, you don't know how to use a hook or handle. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one too. Come on, someone show me a, one that's not as nice. I'm still looking. No. <laughs> this was different. I mean, I'll be blunt, guys. I, I guess the worst one was the first one. That might have been the worst one I got. Whoop! That's not good. That was what we were trying to do. Right after I talk about how good my hook work is, I do something like that. Yeah. Nope. You're being a freak. And then here's the, the bad part when you get them on the floor. You got to kind of calm them down. Just got to go for the hook and tail. Because I can't let this thing get loose. Come here, little dude. Let's not jump off the hook anymore, shall we? Now, in there, I can calm him down. We will. We'll let him chill for a few minutes while we talk about him. You're okay. I know. I'm an ass. I'm sorry. That's, that's on me totally, 100%. Um kind of jumped off on me there that's what i get for getting overconfident and talking shit about how good my skill sets are but no matter how good you are you're gonna have a bad moment or two and you know what i just did too for those of you who haven't done that before uh not the dropping them for those of you that haven't done that before congratulations you either probably haven't done a whole lot of this or you're just <laughs> really good at it but going for that tail grab like that it's a little dangerous to be blunt You've got to be very, very confident in what you're doing. The problem is in our reptile room here, we have a rock wall that will literally go down into another area or it can go up. And when I've had baby pythons get out, I found them on the upper floor at least once. So they can travel all the way through. Obviously that can't happen with something like this. So 
it cannot be allowed to get under the rack seat. Yeah, I cannot, uh, I just can't allow for that. Your other option to do, and I've done this before too, is if you don't feel confident working that hook and going for that tail grab. Because at that point, that animal's kind of freaking out a little bit. It's not gonna stay on the hook. So you're gonna have to go hands on with it. Would be to take something and put over it and then just leave it over it where it's kind of sealed in there like a bucket or a tub that's flat and wait for the snake to calm down. I didn't have something handy, so I was gonna go for the grab. Going for that grab, you just gotta really watch what you're doing. That's the main thing. Uh, the trick is to have the snake moving through the hook as you're able to grab it and get it up off the ground. That should, should calm down for you, which this one did a great job. It is still rattling, but it's not even rattling hard now. So that's 223409. And this thing's kind of a beauty, but I don't think it's as good as some of the other ones I've showed you personally. Uh, again, part of it's where it's at in the shed cycle. And it all comes down to, <laughs> we lost our light. Caleb's having to move the light back and forth. So, you know, he's trying to do double duty. Uh, it's, it's just one of those kind of things on whether or not you want the darker, the lighter. Uh, I know I want to lighten it up more, but come here, you. You ready to, I know, I'm probably just going to hook you again. It'll just be easier. Well, well maybe. Oh, you're going to stay like that. We'll just do it that way. You ready to stay? Looks like you are. Oh, yeah, well, you don't get to go up. <laughs> okay, you went from like, this is why you fall off a hook the first time. See, you just did it again. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. You're pretty dark. This is probably one of the darker ones right now. And again, this snake... As I'm gonna kind of talk some shit on it when I get it out because this color isn't as bright as the other ones, which is exactly what I was looking for. Most of that is just due to the fact that this one's gonna shed before the other one. So this is what they look like when they're kind of at, I mean, it's not in blue yet, I don't think. I don't look like the guys are fogging over. But this thing compared to the other ones I showed you, in my opinion, looks like ass. The reason it looks like ass is because it's close to a shed cycle. It's going to go into shed soon. I've seen these reds, you know, uh, not as babies for that long because we haven't had them for that long as babies. But I've worked with three adults now for years. And uh, one of them, when I got the female, was not really an adult. You're making you nervous, isn't it, Caleb? <laughs> they, tried to, they did a little strike shake at me. A uh, turd. Was a sub adult. So I got to raise it up and watch it. And that's how come I know how that color change is going to work because I've seen the babies born, I've seen the sub adult, and I've seen how the sub adult looks like an adult. And that sub-adult was the prettiest one. And now her colors have kind of backed down to like with my nicer, my males. So uh, I know what these are going to do. I'm pretty confident in that. But this is kind of how they start to look when they're getting close to a shed. And so what will happen if you end up with one of these is you're going to sometimes be like, oh my God, this thing's awesome. I can't believe I have the snake. That color is amazing. I've never seen it like that. Blah, 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 blah. Like I know I'm the man. Uh, not really. The snakes did all the work. And I'm just really lucky that I happened to be in the right spot. And then it's going to get close to a shed cycle. And you're going to be like, God, this thing's okay. I mean, I guess it's reddish, but I don't really see why they're, I was so excited about it. And then it's going to shed, and you're going to be like, holy shit. The problem comes in is it's not like a ball python where, hey, it looks like ass this day, and four days later it sheds. It may look like ass, and for a young one like this, it's going to go through a shed pretty quick. But on my adults, it may look like ass for three, four weeks, and then go into blue, and then it sheds, and you're just blown away. So it's almost like watching an autogenic change the entire time you have them, every time they get close to a shed. I can pretty much say, man, that stakes are going to shed in about a month, just from looking at them, and be right, which is pretty cool. Caleb, what do you think? Am I nuts? Nope, I agree. You've been around them for quite a while now, because we had a couple of them in the zoo for a lot of years. Yeah. And uh, did you experience the same thing? Yeah. They do, right? Yeah. I had uh, someone actually call me a liar one time because one of them was like deep in blue. And you could, not really deep in blue, but deep into the cycle where it's going to start to go in blue. And it it was red, but not like. But it wasn't like, it looked like, it started to like one that's just got a reddish tint. Yes. Which is not. And, and I got called a liar multiple times. And then uh, I would I was petty and was sure to send him a picture as soon as it shed. And then what did they say? Uh, most of the time they just said cool or, or they really didn't care as much as I did. Oh, you're going to be a pain in my ass. Nope, can't do that, buddy. That is certainly not allowed, sir. 
Yeah, I don't want to be roommates with you. So again, I'm just going to grab that tail, go for the hook and tail. Now I put this box down there since we're not using it. What that's actually for is if one should fall off of here. Here's hope it falls in the box. That's what that's put down there. Uh, so again, there's never completely drama free. And we didn't show you every single one, but I wanted to get one of the ones that's looking its worst right now. And some of the ones that are just looking phenomenal. I think we were able to do that. Obviously, the reason I'm not going to show everyone is because pulling out 13 rattlesnakes and putting them up here and doing all this makes for a lot of video of me handling snakes. And maybe you like that, maybe you don't. And then people are going to start saying, man, this fat white guy, he's just pretty much Al with more hair. And I can't have that. Uh, actually, Al is way more knowledgeable than I am. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, I don't know if he's still making any videos, but uh, Viper Keeper, very, very knowledgeable fella. So that's one person I'll probably never get compared to uh, <laughs> because he's when it comes to some of the venomous stuff he does, like the blue and solar or something else. So shout out to Al on all that. And Al would hate these. He'd absolutely hate these because he doesn't like morphs anyway. Kiss off, Al. They're beautiful, but I do appreciate everything that guy does. So, uh, Caleb, any questions? Uh, I went way off the rails and probably questions? actually insulted somebody. On no, I don't think so. But I mean, he he has to always bald, white, heavier than heavy set. I'd like to say more heavy set than me, but I don't know if that's the case anymore. I'm just getting you know, I'm getting old and fat, man. I'm eating good. I'm eating, this things are a good thing, right? So, uh, <laughs> we love you, Al. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.